Hello, I'm Dr. Holly Lofton. I'm a clinical associate professor of surgery and medicine at NYU Langone Health, and I direct the medical weight management program. My practice is solely based on chronic weight management for adults. And today I'll talk about the various doses of GLP-1 agonists that you may prescribe to your patient. So being that this is based around weight management, I'll start with the weight management medications. The first of which is Saxenda. This is liraglutide, three milligrams for chronic weight management. Now, the studies that were done with this medication were intended to get the patient to the three milligram dosing, which is actually what's prescribed for weight management and not the 1.8 milligram dosing, which is prescribed for type two diabetes. However, you may deliver different doses to your patients depending on your goal. You see this makes a lot of clicking noise. When the patient starts Saxenda and has their pen, there'll be this clear fluid. It's important to remind them that this is a multi-use pen and they should use it over and over again until it's empty. Now this medication has various doses in the same pen. So you want to increase weekly as long as the patient is tolerating it. And by that, I mean not having significant side effects such as nausea, constipation, or other stool changes. So when a patient receives the pen, it will start with zero. And in the first week, we do 0.6 daily. Next week, we do 1.2 daily. The third week, you do 1.8 daily. The next week, you do 2.4 daily. And then the goal is to get the patient to three milligrams, which is the maintenance dose. And ideally, the patient would stay there for their chronic weight management. However, if a patient can't tolerate the dose, you can also have them go to a lower dose for seven more days and try again. Wegovi, which is semaglutide 2.4, is also prescribed for chronic weight management. Upside down. Now this is a single use cartridge so the pen will only deliver the dose that you prescribe to the patient. This as well is intended to increase monthly as long as the patient is tolerating it, not having too many significant GI side effects such as nausea, constipation, or loose. And with this pen, the doses are 0 0.25, 0.5, 1 milligram, 1.7, and 2.4. And you increase it monthly or every four weeks, depending on the patient tolerance. However, if a patient is not able to tolerate the highest dose, you can prescribe the maximally tolerated dose for that patient. The next few GLP-1s I'll talk about are prescribed for type 2 diabetes. Now, the goals of titrating these medications really depends more on your patient's glycemic control because these are used for glycemic management. Here we have the red label Ozempic pen, and this delivers either 0 0.25 or 0.5. So the recommendation for this medication is to use 0 0.25 for four weeks, assess the patient's glycemic control, and if needed, increase to 0 0.5 after four weeks. This pen delivers either 0 0.25 or 0 0.5 only. This full green label Ozempic delivers one milligram dosing. So when your patient turns this one, all the way to the end, the only number they will see will be one. So this delivers a one milligram dose. If your patient does not have optimal glycemic control with the lower doses, a one milligram pen can be prescribed and that patient can continue on that if it's optimizing their glucose or you can increase to a two milligram ozempic pen, which delivers only two milligrams. This is a single use cartridge for Trublicity this medication will only deliver the dose that is prescribed. The various doses of Trulicity are 
0 0.75, 1.5, 3 milligrams, and 4.5 milligrams. This pen will only deliver the dose that's prescribed, and you can titrate up to optimize glycemic control for your patient. So the higher the dose, the better the improvement in glucose and hemoglobin A1C. This is the pen for Lunjaro, which is terzepatide. At the time of this recording, this medication is intended for type 2 diabetes management. It's a single-use cartridge, and the different doses vary from 2.5, 5 milligrams, 7.5 milligrams, 10 milligrams, 12.5 milligrams, and the highest dose is 15. Again, this should be titrated to optimize glycemic control for your patient, and you can increase or decrease the dose based on the patient's tolerance. Some of the more common prescribing errors I see with the GLP-1 agonists include not increasing the dose to titrate for effect where the goal is glycemic control or weight management. Starting with Trulicity, for example, this medication comes in doses from 0 0.75 up to 4.5. And, and I've seen patients on 0 0.75 for nine months not achieving their goals of glycemic control Tolerating the medication well, but with the prescribers not increasing the dose, we're not achieving the desired outcome. So it's important to reassess your patient and the goals of either weight management or glycemic control and consider titrating the dose for that patient. Another common prescribing error with these medications is that some providers say, well, this patient needs to lose a lot of weight, so let me go to the highest dose. So they may give them a Wegovy. 2.4 milligrams because that's the dose that's for weight management and start them there. Now, we know this medication slows down the rate of stomach emptying. And if we do that too quickly, going from zero to 2.4, the patient is very likely to have adverse outcomes such as vomiting because a stomach, stomach that slows down too quickly will definitely not feel pleasant to the patient. So it is important with these medications in the class of GLP-1 agonists to slowly increase the dose whether it be monthly or daily, depending on the medication, to optimize the patient's outcomes, but also minimize adverse effects. I'm Dr. Holly Lofton, and thank you for your time and attention on this discussion regarding dosing and administration of GLP-1 agonists. Thank you for your time today in hearing about the various GLP-1 doses and how you can help your patients achieve the goals of either glycemic control or weight management.